What is going on? I'm Zedmot. In your shop, that is code Zedmot. Z M O T. Not smart, not snot, not smog. Zedmot in every single Supercell game. We're going to pick up those chests, those shards. Now, speaking of picking things up, these guys all contacted me. Commander Jacko, Bill Hudson, those shirts are about to be shipped on out. Sorry, Orion, no backup winner. And by the way, for future giveaways, the link to join my Discord is up in that top right-hand corner. And speaking of the top right-hand corner, I've got a giveaway going right now for a Zooka figurine. So do go join that contest as well. Now, this is my warship, and it's in the exact same state it was when I left you on Friday. No video yesterday. Remembrance Day here in Canada. Had the day off. Wanted to show you what I've done in my tech tree. I went and got those yellow heavy buses. That might be a mistake. I don't see anyone using them as far as... You can't, like, you can bus rush a little bit, but overall, I, the end game metas, I don't think are going to include them for once, which is kind of nice. That remote hack, so, so appealing. I am currently saving for that seven engine room level. Now, wanted to go over some of the metas with you before we dive in and attack. First and foremost, there's rocket choppers with super warriors. Rocket choppers going one way, super warriors getting the engine room on the left hand side. Rocket Choppa's going right. And then, of course, there are these beautiful dudes, these guys back here, those clone riflemen combined with Laser Rangers, also with Everspark, a great, great combo. Those three things together, Sparky's Critters clearing mines, clone riflemen dying and then recoming back, and then, of course, the Laser Rangers just wrecking compact bases. You can get faster than three minutes on five engine, you know those five engine room bases that were super scary? They're, you can beat them in less than three, like in less than a minute now, it's insane. Anyways, uh, on top of that, there is also bombardiers with that remote defib. So this season, you kind of have to pair your abilities. Bombardiers with the remote defib, rocket choppers with that super warrior. As you can see, I've got neither of those. I have got heavy choppers with the laser rangers. Now, laser rangers are a no-brainer. If you're not sure what to use, go those laser rangers because uh, it's going to be on your path to seven engine rooms and then you can backfill as required. I have backfilled, got that troop health bringing me up to 100%, got that troop damage bringing me up to 150%. So I've got all the defensive buffs and most of the offensive buffs. The GBE back here, I think, is the only exception. I went back and upgraded that GBE to max. This one is almost max, so we're rocking with 90% GBE. And this weekend has been super chill for me. I've done like seven attacks. As a result, gone up and down more than your mom? I, just, I, I Sorry, but I just couldn't hold it back there. Anyways, you get the basics idea of what we're trying to do. We are going to clear the front using these guys. I'm going to mix in one of these, just literally trying to make up my own things, which is not a great idea. Frankly, there's, a, there's enough metas out there that making up your own, probably not a great, great, great idea, but um, we're going to do a hybrid. I can't believe I just said your mom. Uh, we're going to do a hybrid with laser rangers and heavy choppers and throwing in some of our good friends, the clone riflemen. Lots of kind words about clone riflemen in this video. By the way, using blue critters, incredibly, incredibly helpful. But of course, we don't have our blue critters, so we need to rely on our other GBE abilities, trying to keep our laser rangers alive, which is a very, very difficult task. It is amazing how hard it is to keep these gosh darn ladies alive, just using GBE ability upon GBE ability to try to keep them alive. Uh, we have got a decent number. Typically by now I'd be rocking about three of them alive. We've got six, six, five, five. And so you get to see just how obsolete these clump bases are, which again, I am also rocking. Just crushing through these bases using laser rangers. I probably should have used a few more of them, but 
Those yellow choppas do help clear mines, and I really, really do wish that I had Miss Everspark, but she is a long, long, long ways in the wrong direction, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to drop some of these explosive drones, try to take this down, and people are still failing against my base. It is becoming more and more rare, but if you're looking for a way to get up into Diamond, uh, see, there you go, Harp lost. The defensive way, the defensive meta is the way this season, more than any season I can recall. Using tanks, that, my friend, was not one of the metas I just named. So tanks having a rough, rough go of it, uh, even if they have all the offensive stats, still getting absolutely pummeled by all of those defensive buffs. Notice in that back corner, we've got four boom cannons, two of them amped up, and uh, that is because of this choice node right about, come on, where is that choice node? Right about there. Do consider grabbing the two boom cannons. It helps against the majority of the metas, against bombardiers, against rocket choppas, not so much against laser rangers, but the shock launcher and the rocket launcher, neither of them doing as much as the boom cannon trying to cover as many details of the tech tree as we can. We're at the point in the season where losing and getting zero engine rooms is a little bit behind us, which is fantastic. Really, 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 really happy about that. Those battles where you're doing like 15 battles to get seven engine rooms were incredibly painful. Now we're gonna get rid of all of those guys. And this is a more usable layout, three clone rifles. Because we don't have Everspark, I'm gonna go with four though, just to be overly, 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 did I mention overly cautious? I would love to be able, you know what, do we have Zookas? What level are our Zookas? Low, let, tick one Zooka. I was thinking maybe we could drop like one boat of Zookas for that right side, but nope. We're gonna, ugh, this is gonna be gross. Okay, let's go. They don't have many mines. I'm kind, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite the bullet, I might regret this, but we're gonna bite the bullet, send out all of those dudes. Clone rifles out wide, clone white rifles out wide, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, sending all of these out. If those mortars turn, and yes, you can see mortars turn, which is kinda strange, we're gonna have to change that up a little bit, and then we're just gonna make Darn sure, oh gosh, of course you guys went to the right. Um, I don't see any value in spending our GBE to save those guys though, so we're gonna go something like this, trying to clear as many mines as we can using all of those explosive and crystal drones slash critters. Get a move on, there we go. It is touch and go at times, trying, come on, land, yes, okay, there we go. Mortars are your enemy. Do not sleep on mortars. Mortars are so, so dangerous, as are that guy right there. That hot pot wants to melt our faces. Should be able to get through it though. Like these guys over here, not doing a heck of a lot. At least those clone rifles are getting rid of that mortar though. They're standing in, getting shot in the top of the head. I guess I was gonna say the face, but let's be honest, they get shot in the top of the head. And now we need to clear some more of these mines. It is all about the mines at this point in the season. If, I actually, you know what? I actually faced someone earlier, like I think it was yesterday, that did not have green mines, which absolutely blew my mind. They were in diamond at the six engine room level without green mines. I don't even know how the heck they managed that. So if that was you, congrats that you are far, far, far more stubborn than 99% of Boom Beach players. Now, speaking of stubborn, we are getting very, very low on troops. That mortar is about to eat that laser ranger for breakfast. Let's get some of those out. I knew this base was gonna be trouble. Bases have moved to be as spread out as they possibly, possibly can, which of course is very, very smart because it slows people down. And as you saw there, that clump base just got absolutely eaten up by our troops. So we are gonna lose this battle. I kind of, 
I'm okay, I'm okay with that. At this point, I don't really care about where my standings are as long as I am sitting in the diamond level. That is all that really, really matters to me because what it means is that I can claim in diamond and even just showing you guys that this spread out base is slow. It's a great, great thing. So do consider spreading your base out. I have not changed my base in probably eight days, I would guess. So my base is ancient history. Definitely need to update that. It's working at times, getting me easy wins as people fail, but fewer and fewer and fewer people are failing. So yes, we're gonna collect in diamond, but it's gonna be an ugly, ugly day. So we're sitting at 80, 93 keys. That puts us a few chests away and don't go to seven engine room if you're not sure yet. The word on the street at the moment, yes, there's a boom beach street, is don't go to seven until you can get that sky shield, but I need to confirm that. That is just the whispers I hear from my little birds. Um, do people even talk about Game of Thrones anymore? Tempted to boost that gunboat energy up. A barrage on its own with no artillery. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. No artillery, no smoke, no Kavan, no Seekers, no Critter Launchers. What a strange, strange, strange season. Uh, I definitely, I can't, I don't remember having gone this deep into a season with no hero. We got no Brick, no Sparky, no Bullet. I probably, Everspark is probably the hero of choice simply because of A, her remote hack, Critter Swarm. And I've also heard about people using her um, explosive charge, which blows my mind. Get it? Explosive charge blowing my mind. Anyways, do join that giveaway. I've got rocking up there. Would love to see you. And by the way, I asked for 150 likes. We're currently at 188. You guys have shared a ton of great books with me. Some that I've read, some that I've added to my to be read. Currently, I'm reading Dungeon, what's it called? Uh, as I find my Kindle, Carl's Doomsday Scenario, Dungeon Crawler Carl, book two. Um, it's dumb, it's uh, it, funny, it's got a lot of swearing. Um, I'm still on the fence of whether or not my 12 year old can read it. There, I'm not sure he needs to know what a rusty trombone is. He does play the euphonium, but uh, slightly different conversation that one is. Anyways, we shall talk to you soon. Can't believe I talked about your mom going up and down and a rusty trombone in the same video, but uh, that is what it is as we clue quickly get our supply chest so our task force has all of the intel in the world. If you need a hack to get more supply chests, do check the cards as well. Anyways, keep your submarine diving, keep booming those beaches and send me a request as far as a book to read so you can win that Zuka figurine. I'm Zedmont. Thanks for coming in. Peace.